Hey guys, welcome to Aviator Zone Instructor Podcast today. My name is Andy Padron. I'm one of the instructors here at the Academy. I started working with the Academy in December, um, got my CFII in January, and here I am teaching students how to become better pilots. A question I get asked a lot is um, how to get into aviation. You might want to see what sparks your interest into aviation if you want to do it recreationally, if you want to do it professionally, and then do research, ask around and see what works for you and what doesn't. Um, we're a part 141 school, so we focus on professional development of pilots. We work from zero to commercial, and if you want to work with us, uh, we can go all the way up to CFI, CFII, and we'll help you get there. From zero to commercial, um, it depends on how fast or how dedicated the student is. We can get people to finish from six months, uh, as little as four months. It all depends on how much work, how much preparation you put into it, and your willingness to get to where you want to be. We don't recommend students to have simulators at home until they're uh, deep enough into their training where they understand the systems and how to actually fly the airplane. Um, if they do stuff by themselves, they can create bad habits which are going to be harder to break during the training. So we like to develop the fundamental skills and then after they're comfortable, they can go and practice uh, the skill sets in their simulators without the risk of um, emergencies in real life or endangering themselves. So before every flight, we have our students fill out a Wayland balance sheet. Um, it has basically the loading of the airplane and then we have them fill out a risk assessment. During flights, you can never eliminate all the risks. You can only mitigate them. There's always gonna be a certain risk when you're flying. It's not like you can stop and then just repair the airplane or stop and fix a tire in the air, right? You have to come back, land, and then get that issue resolved in the ground. So mental preparation before every flight is key. Um, it assesses our fitness to flight. That means physiologically, psychologically, if we're prepared for the flight. There's a lot of things going on during the flight and if we're not prepared for them, things is, that's when things go wrong. Um, we're better off prepared for scenarios. We run all the scenarios that may happen. That way, if they do happen, we're prepared for them. Well, thank you again for joining us today in today's instructor's podcast. See you next time and stay flying.